I think when we are confronted with fear, uh, there are two things that we do. It's either we walk away or confront it. And uh, for this piece, especially with Firewalk, curiosity would pull the viewer to take that next step and maybe uh, confront their fears and walk on the bridge. During childbirth, uh, my mother's doctor was uh, talking. Today is St. Mark's Day. It is my son's birthday and his name is Mark. So that turned me also into Mark. <laughs> I always loved to draw and I, I was too young to go to school but I wanted a notebook of my own and I filled it up with drawings. My first encounter with art was in St. Joseph the Worker Chapel in Victoria's Negros Occidental. The chapel is filled with mosaic work by a Belgian artist, Aid or Ade de Bethune, the Alfonso Osorio's Angry Christ, and sculptures by Benjamin Valenciano. So imagine having your first communion in front of Osorio's uh, Angry Christ. It's a combination of fear and awe and beauty. I've always had that fascination with uh, the Philippine language. So I used to put words beside mirrors, and if the words flip, the meanings also flip. My first mirror piece was in 1994, titled Magkabiak. It's about Marcos. If you flip the image, it somehow became Ramos. I began to be very serious about the infinities in, in 2010. I was planning to do something like 15 feet, but it felt short, so the bridge turned out to be longer. Knowing that there, there was an excavation in this area and there were relics found, so we incorporated that in the bridge. These are traces or remembrances of things that we use when we were kids. It's the beginning of the construction of the self. It's the next compartment, you'd see a pile of books, things that we measure, and instruments of experiments. So that's when we experiment in, in life, we measure things, we measure ourselves as we accumulate knowledge. The next is filled with drawers, which are filled with things or the memories that we keep. Then you go back to the excavation site, so you complete the entire cycle of living. So the challenge was, how do you expand on something that seems complete already? I decided on putting border markers beside the bridge. The first, you'll see part of an abacus. Uh, if you see an abacus, you'll think, uh, where do numbers come from? The second are waves, and I wanted to link sound waves, so I placed the clarinet. The third one is walls of molten rocks and it's like uh, creating things out of uh, heat. The next part are crystals, things that have solidified and it has undergone a very long geological process. It's solid but brittle and fragile. And the last is an image of soil and there's typewriter keys embedded. So there's text. Texts make up language, words, phrases, consciousness. And then you go back to the excavation site. And the first uh, thing that you see is a small pathway with the monks begging bowls. The second window, you'll see splashes caused by pebbles. The third image is that of a bridge. The next piece would be back to the walls of crystals. Crystals are like transparent, but what is transparency? Uh, space seems transparent. For this part, there's the, because there's the mirror, this mirror reflects everything that's surrounding it. So it shows the warping of space. And the last part, uh, are also shredded paper and, and a small paper plane flying about to continue its journey. The bridge is specific to personal experiences, but the, one, the ones beside it talks about the climate, universe, uh, numbers, more general things. 
uh, I think this, hopefully it's like a symphony of images.